I am inviting the EFCC and ICPC to look into the massive contract frauds in the state, Philip Shaibu says. Can you imagine? So Philip Shaibu now is inviting ICPC and EFCC to come to the uh, Edo State Government House to come and look at the massive contract fraud that is going on. So uh, if Philip Shaibu is going to invite ICPC and EFCC, is it through the social media or through the news? Why not send a petition to them directly? Then we know that you mean business. It's not by coming to the news platforms to say it. That is it. If you really know that there's contract fraud, then write a letter to EFCC and ICPC and then invite them into the state as a petition. And then they will come and start investigation. <laughs> These people, they will never be tired. Well, all of them are the same. Obaseki hands too might not be very clean. So let him handle it the best way he can. So according to Punch News, Felix Shaibu, the deputy governor of Edo State, has called on top government agencies to investigate massive fraud in the state in a recent statement uh, in the state, okay? So in the recent statement, Shaibu expressed concern over alleged corrupt, corruption involving state funds. He specifically invited the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, to investigate these fraudulent uh, activities. Shaibu claims that contracts in the Ministry of Roads and Bridges, that is Ministry of Works now, under the supervision of Ferguson and Nabulele, um, have been manipulated to steal public funds. So according to him, some engineers in the ministry have also been involved. So he accused them of agreeing to use their company's bank accounts to hide stolen funds, which would be uh, converted into U.S. dollars. How did you get this information? So Shaibu also warned banks against granting last-minute loans to the state's current uh, governor, Gordon Obaseki, as he fears the loans could be used for shady activities. He further alleged that NGOs, um, non-government organizations, were being used as fronts to siphon money from the state. Oh boy. So his call for investigation is aimed at protecting Edo State's finances and ensuring that those responsible for the fraud face uh, justice. The same but he said is the deputy governor. So at this part of this government until election started, until they started talking about campaign for the next uh, 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 for the next governor. So does they think that a lot of the things that have happened in the Basaki government will be exonerated from them? Now the state government has two deputy governors. He's claiming to be a deputy governor restricted by the court. Meanwhile, the other deputy governor that replaced him is still there. So who should we take serious in this matter now? So with what he's saying, is this in alignment with what Okwebul has been saying that uh, there is a, la a serious last minute looting in a uh, state government house prior to hand over to him in the next one month? And uh, the allegation has gone round, and the state government has actually come out to tell uh, Pueblo to substantiate his claim with evidences or face the consequences. Okay, so now Shaibu is coming out on one hand now to still bring out this uh, corruption allegation again, saying that in the Ministry of Works, roads and bridges contracts have been given, and uh, a lot of uh, funds have been disbursed. Okay, to banks or taking loan from banks to do these bridges but are using them you know siphoning them and say that the government is also using ngos to siphon funds from the state so do we have facts for all of this and again like i said at the beginning if shaibu wants uh those state government to be investigated he should petition icpc and efcc directly call them in by your letter and then they will come and start investigation in fact, this is the best time they should start investigation. Now that are doing a transition, is so why they can the transition can be a bit more transparent. That is what you should be doing, and not coming to the news to say it, okay? Because saying it from the news, it looks like a, it's just like emotional blackmail and uh, you know character assassination. It doesn't have weight at all. It's just some kind of uh, political propaganda. So better articulate your your claims and then send a petition to EFCC and ICPC for them to do their job the right way. Hmm. 
Okay, and uh, I know that some people will react to Shaibu's claim. As I say, yeah, yeah, Philip, where is the 20 government vehicles you uh, you don't take to Apapa, Apapa, <laughs> Apakomiza? Exactly. So all the campaign vehicles that he claimed that his vehicles, he took them to APC and they donated them to Apakomiza uh, for, for campaign. And again, the Dosti government actually accused him of going with uh, a lot of government vehicles and threatening to recover them. But up to now, Obaseki also has not been able to recover those vehicles. Does it mean that Obaseki uh, was just raising noise? Probably there was nothing like that. We don't understand this people. The more you look, the less you see. Hmm. Uh, somebody say, has this guy returned the over 20 government vehicles with him? That is the first place EFCC should start from. The question is, if he has these 20 vehicles, why has Obasaki not been able to collect them back from him? Or this why? That is the question. So Obasaki himself that also put up that claim also need to be sure that it is true and provide evidences and go and collect those vehicles. <laughs> Whether they are still on the road or they are junk and packed, he should go and recover them and make a proof that he has collected them. That is it. I'm not just saying them. All these people are just trading blames on paper. They can't on, on ground. They can't just move forward. Uh, so I say all of you supporting Shaibu on this, and Shaibu is the greatest fool I have seen. Calling on EFCC that couldn't arrest Yaya Bello in the compound eh? <laughs> to arrest Obasaki is Obasaki a Yahoo boy? That is the question. They call him Mr. Traitor. That is uh, Shaibu. So I say you are so confused that you don't even know where you belong. They don't give him again, no? Shaibu. So I say the fool doesn't really know where he belongs. That is true. So they are already finishing him. He has gone to APC now, thinking that probably um, he will be the governor of Edo State through APC. They will still won't give it to him. The thing about these people is that when you blackmail yourself, blackmail your, your party and go to another party, the party you are going to will still be looking at you with one eye. It's just like Mwike that is in PDP, but blackmailing PDP for APC. Now, APC knows that this guy is a blackmailer and they, they will be very, very, very careful with him. And so he can only get what is on his table to eat now, but he won't get something confidential in the future. That is just the problem here. Yeah. So this is, I don't know, understand Nigerian politicians that are just something else. I don't say right for what? Association of wickedness. Big fool like you, eh? Idiot like you and big disgrace. Can you imagine that that is sort of a very good. And uh, here, somebody says, I don't know who is a fool here except you are among those that embezzled the state money. Why do you bend to support corruption? He is part of government. Let EFCC investigate Obaseki and his administration because there is nothing to show. Okay, that is what you think. That is what you think. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment. That is the shout that uh, Philip Shaibu is shouting now for EFCC and ICPC to come and investigate uh, Obaseki's uh, administration before he runs away from office.